many of us can run into this experience of post-awakening depression. And there's something profoundly confusing about this sort of experience. Because the reason why we engage with awakening, spirituality in the first place, is of course to find a sort of peace, a transcendent peace. We were looking for a deep meaning in life. And so how does depression, post-awakening depression, fit into that picture? It seems like a contradiction. But the reason for that, if you actually ponder why that kind of experience can arise, is quite clear. When we are having an awakening experience, we are in some sense recognizing the emptiness of all things. We recognize that nothing exists in this ordinary way. We tend to think, in our ordinary way of looking at things, that objects and beings have this limited, inherent, concrete self-existence. And that, of course, is seen to be an illusion. We see that this is not really the case. And furthermore, as a result of this recognition, we discover that this peace we were after, in some sense, has nothing to do with this conventional world of objects and beings. There is a total transcendence of that. And with that, as I said, might come a deep peace and even a deep source of meaning. And at first, that might feel great to us. We might think, great, we have now arrived at the goal. But eventually, what tends to happen is that conventional reality grabs us again, pulls us in. Life demands our attention. And how do we react then? We might now have the sense that, well, why should I engage with life again? It has nothing to offer. Peace is not found there. And because of that, we might fall into a kind of nihilism. We might think that conventional reality is totally meaningless. There's nothing to gain there. There's nothing to do. Everything is just empty. And because of that, it is felt to be a kind of depression. It is not this nihilism and depression which we might have experienced previously, where we took ourselves to be this limited, separate entity. It is of course now a different kind of depression. Maybe we could even say an upgraded kind of depression. But nevertheless, we have the sense that this is not quite right. This is not a good way to be, so to say. And we might hear the suggestion in that case that we shouldn't worry about that, that this sort of feeling of depression is also just something that comes and goes. We don't need to fixate on that. And yes, there's a kind of wisdom in this statement. It is true that all states, all emotions come and go. But we should also be aware of the fact that our own way of looking, our own sort of conceptualization of awakening can actually cause this depression. So this depression is not just something that arises, it's actually the result of our way of experiencing, our orientation to reality itself. So let me clarify what I mean by that. When we are on this path of awakening, we might have this idea that this realization of the emptiness of all things is somehow separate from conventional reality. We think that conventional reality, this world of people and objects and our normal life, is one thing, and then this realization of emptiness is something completely opposite of that. It has nothing to do with that, in some sense. And because this is our way of looking, we have created a essential split there. And the split can, of course, take many different forms. We could, for example, create the split by assuming the position of a kind of detached witness, an empty awareness which is somehow separate from your field of experience. We could also get caught in a loop where we now just assert that 
everything is empty, there is no self, nothing really exists. But regardless of what this particular trap of nihilism is we fall into, it always creates a kind of split there where we think that emptiness and this awakening experience have nothing to do with conventional reality. So if we want to actually heal the split, there are of course many different ways we can go about it. But one very essential aspect of not being caught into this post-awakening depression is to allow ourselves to fully engage with life again. Allow intentionality, allow the person, allow the sense of self to arise again and live this life of an ordinary human being who is actually fully engaged with life. But interestingly, we don't just fall back into our previous way of looking. We now engage with ordinary life with this insight of the actual emptiness of all things. And interestingly, this is just an upgrade. This doesn't mean that we now take everything to be essentially unreal. It is more so the case that when we now engage with life, we can see the actual wonder of everything. Everything is seen to be this magical display of emptiness. And we can, as the body-mind, fully participate in this wondrous kind of interaction between emptiness and form. And this is actually amazing. There is great joy in that. Life all of a sudden can be meaningful again. But very often what prevents us from actually taking that step is that we think that we will somehow lose our peace if we re-engage with life in these conventional terms. We somehow assume that this realization of the emptiness of all things will be lost and this realization is separate from our experience of ordinary life and we therefore have to kind of cling to it even in a subtle way if we want to maintain it but this is actually not the case if we allow ourselves to fully engage with life again with this view of emptiness it is not that we lose our peace, it is more so that the peace is felt more deeply. It is a kind of embodied and more meaningful peace, we could even say. So if anything, this is really an encouragement to bridge that gap for yourself. To not be stuck in this realization of the unreality of all things, the emptiness of all things. But to actually engage with life again fully as the person but maintain this insight, incorporate this realization of emptiness into your way of being. And you will see that all in all, this will tend to cure this nihilism, this post-awakening depression. As always, if anything remains unclear, you can write in the comments under this video, or you can reach out to me through my website if you want to get in touch with me directly. Thanks for watching. I will see you right here next time.